uh, my name's Nick Sparrowhawk. I'm um, 30 years old. I've been with the club since I was about 10, so approximately 20 years I've been with the club, um, providing cover all over the over the years for different events. Um, we're down at Boscombe, Boscombe Lifeguards, Honeycomb China is our base. So a, a close group net of lifeguards. There's about 20 on average every weekend where we train down at Pelham's, which is our winter training schedule. Um, we range from eight to nine years old and all the way up to retirement plus. Our sector is our oldest member, who's I think I'm just 80 now. So we've got a close new close group of committee members which do all the function and functionality of the club. So myself as club captain, oversee and assist with different parts of the club. When I was at college, I was a pool lifeguard um, down at Little Down in Kinswim Bars before it got pulled down. And then started out there. Then when I progressed in my career at Sunseeker, then obviously that had to knock back. So I just do this weekends and evenings to assist. Um, so yeah, I've been with the club for about 20 years now. Um, started when I was a junior. And I've worked my way through um, up to a beach lifeguard, which you can take when you're 16. Done that for several years in a row. Then I've moved up to club captain recently. Um, just basically helping oversee with the committee we have which run the club. Um, we had this site a couple of years back now. Um, we built this at the weekends, got it all put together, all the bits you can see around us. Um, then we do a lot of fundraising as well for all our equipment, so it's all volunteer work. So, rain or shine, we're, we're down here through the summer and the winter, training, practicing. And we do, here is our voluntary base at the beach, and we have Pelham's up at Kinson, where we teach in the swimming pool during the winter months. So, we were down surfing in Cornwall, and um, there's a group of nine to ten, I think, roughly. Um, different experiences. We had one of our senior members who's Janet who is over 80 now. So she's one of our senior members. She was out with us surfing. I had a few friends. They said it was a riptide. So all the surfs and stuff were out in the sea just playing around. And the currents start taking a few people out to sea. Um, so we basically assisted them back to land. That's what they paddled out and paddled them back in. So and that's one thing we obviously teach our little juniors from nine years old and talk about the safety events at sea and Keep everyone safe, hopefully. Uh, that's our biggest experience I've sort of had in the lifeguarding world. Well, lost the five, six lives saved, hopefully. It just puts it into perspective what you teach the rookies and stuff is what, well, we were out on our surf trip, helped some other locals. Um, hopefully, the things we teach will help others in the future. And, um, keeping ourselves safe as well as the public. Keeps your eyes open, really, because anything can happen at any, any moment. So, keeps you, keeps you alert. And, um, the adrenaline you get from an event like that, you, f you hope it never happens again, but you keep yourself trained and keep the skills honed in, so if it does ever happen, then you know what to do in that scenario. In the evening in the pubs, a couple of them came back to us in there and um, thanked us on our day's efforts and um, possibly saved their lives. No, no experience is required. All we ask is you could swim, basically. But even we do have weaker swimmers come to us and we train them, get them better swimmers. Um, our age is, like I said, was nine years old we start from, where you go through your survive and save rookie programme, um, you move up to then your assistant beach lifeguard, your beach lifeguard, and on to our safety boat qualified applications, which is your RVA2 and safety boat, which are key for the cover. Um, yeah, for all round activities we get involved with.